Thank you for joining me. This is Flamma Mavic. Another Dashware video. This time though, instead of using the flight logs from the DJI Mavic Mini, as I did in the first one, which I'll link to down below, which was an explanation of how to use Dashware, we are going to be using the flight logs from the Litchi app, um, the ever popular Litchi app. If you haven't downloaded Litchi, it is well worth downloading and using. Uh, first thing though, many thanks to uh, 120 CCPM for his help again. Uh, I did struggle slightly with a couple of things and his advice helped me get it all sorted. The reason why is because if you look at the CSV files, uh, the column headers for Litchi start with latitude, longitude, etc, etc. Whereas up here, uh, the headings for the Mavic Mini start with custom update time, custom is photo. So because all these columns uh, are all completely different between Litchi and the Mavic Mini uh, and the Mavic, uh, the DJI in general, I've had to completely rewrite a data profile, which I've done, and I've named it the Litchi Mavic Pro. I will put all the gauges, which you see on the screen, and the profile, and the settings file, etc., into one file, put on the Google Drive, uh, which I'll link to down below, with instructions on how to use it. But I'm really pleased. Uh, it's taken me a few days because adapting between one type of file and another type of file means adding in all the various columns, as you can see. But in the end, it all seems to work out quite well. Uh, the one I'm particularly proud of is this, the DJI Mavic Pro battery, which I built myself. Uh, and if I drag the bar across, you'll see the little lights count down as the battery gets used. Um, another one, which I'll just show you, is the map. Yes, I've got the map to work. As you can see, it has a little red icon here. And as I drag it across, you'll see the icon move around the screen and point in the correct direction that the quad is facing. Let's just minimise that one a little bit so we don't have to have it showing. Uh, another one, uh, which was an adaptation of 120CTPM's original file, is this one, um, which at the moment is showing the metric version, but I have done a, an imperial version, so that will show uh, miles per hour and uh, feet instead of metres. And again, that works, as you can see, the battery level drops, uh, longitude, latitude, satellite lock, uh, takeoff distance, uh, max distance, etc., etc., uh, the only one I can't get working is this vertical speed here. For some reason, even when I go into the um, CSV file for Litchi and I go across, there is, oh, sorry, it's down here into that one. The, um, the headings for it is, I think it's velocity X or Y or Z, but I've tried all of those and I can't get them to match what happens on the video. If you have um, if you know how to fix this, uh, please, please do uh, comment below and tell me and I will update the gauge accordingly. Uh, another one that is there is the uh, battery cell here. Showing you battery cells is also one there as well. Uh, the gimbal pitch, uh, battery percentage there. And if you are a Phantom 3 owner, uh, there are a couple of little gauges here. One shows the percentage of battery left. And this one shows uh, the voltage. Now, this was set up for the Mavic Pro. So, these little lights on here may not work dead on for the Phantom 3. Um, what I would need is a flight log uh, with a battery drained down to about 10%. So, I can make the adjustments and then uh, send you the details if you want me to. Uh, the sticks, they work fine. Uh, again, I've had to make some changes because the raw data from... Um, Litchi doesn't match those of the Mavic Mini. Uh, you won't see those move in this example because this was a straight through mission flown as of course you don't use the sticks when you're flying in a mission. Of course you're going to need the files so just quickly show you where they are. On your phone if you go into your file browser, uh, if you plug into Windows, should open up a page like this. It's in Litchi app and in flight logs and then just copy the relevant flight log out into your project folder. And that's it. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching. Do take care and as always, fly safely.